Hello, this is Erica with Launching Legacies. Welcome to our daily devotional. Today we're going to continue our devotional series on feet and we're going to um, talk about shaking those feet. <laughs> Jesus told the disciples um, at a particular time in ministry that you just need to shake your feet. Okay, shake the dust off your feet. So we're going to look at Matthew, the 10th chapter and the 14th verse. And it says, if any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. Okay. And so what is this? Okay. So Jesus has sent these disciples out to different, um, all the different places. He sent them two by two, um, to different places to ev evangelize, right? So to talk about the good news of Christ, but he says his instructions were very clear. He told them, you know, to go into the house, commune with the people, tell them this good news. And it, then he says at the end, listen, if they don't receive you, if they don't want to welcome you in, if they don't want your message, if they don't want to be about what you're talking about then basically don't take it personal take the shake the dust off your feet and leave that place right and so this is a cool message because he's pretty straightforward and maybe people don't realize that Jesus was this direct when he was um, when he was saying things but he's pretty direct he's like listen everybody's not going to receive you. That's one. That's part of this. That's one. People are not always going to be happy to hear what you have to say. They're not going to always be um, excited to hear the good news. They may not want you to come in. They may not think that what you say is pertinent to their life and that's fine. And so it's the same for us. If it was for them, it's the same for us. And it was the same for Jesus. He said, you know, a prophet is never, is never recognized in his own home. Meaning, you know, people are going to disregard they were like jesus i know your dad your dad is joseph you're not the son of god like who are you that we should receive you i don't want to have anything to do with you so they did it to jesus they did it to the disciples they'll do it to you you'll come with the message and it, and it might be the truth i'm hoping hoping you're going to come with the truth and you might find that nobody wants to receive it it may be the gospel message or it may be a lesser message meaning like just a message of of hope or encouragement or just a, a message of correction I don't know what you might be to say to a person, but according to this scripture, Jesus is giving us good advice, just wise counsel. And he's like, listen, everybody's not going to receive you. Don't take it personal if people don't receive you because it's not personal, right? If people don't want to come your way, it's okay if they don't want to come your way. After you've tried, right? Because you have tried, essentially you've gotten to their house or you've tried to approach them with this new knowledge. After you've tried to give them this new information and they won't accept accept it go ahead and shake the dust off your feet while you're leaving just get out of there don't spend your time arguing and fussing and fighting and it makes me think about um about sometimes when i hear debates of various topics that are of lesser concern than than they should be but they're amplified to this big deal you just hear people wasting time and what's typically happening when you get to a place of of a dis uh discard what well, i mean sorry where people are in discord and they're arguing with each other what you're seeing is nobody's listening so whatever message you're trying to deliver by the time you've gotten to the place of being argumentative and you're actually fighting with one another or disagreeing with one another intensely you just all you're having is somebody waiting for a chance to speak and no one's really listening no one is actually weighing through logically trying to figure out what's going to happen next they're they're not doing that they're just literally talking so that they can win and nobody ever really wins when you're having a disagreement they taught us that when i became a teacher that if you're having a power struggle between you and a child you've already lost why because you're having a power struggle with a child <laughs> so the whole the important uh note here is that if the same thing is true if you're trying to deliver a good message right if you're having a power struggle between you and a person that you're trying to give the truth to no matter what that truth might be you've already lost because you're struggling for power and if you need power in order to prove your point or to prove that it's true then maybe you need to rethink your approach because it, it doesn't seem to be necessary 
necessary, right? Sometimes the best thing to do is just show by example or to just be quiet and listen. Wait for the person to need whatever it is that you're giving them. And when they come to you, then give them the truth. But the whole point behind this simple passage is that everybody won't receive you. And second, when they don't receive you, don't take it personal because it's likely not personal. We like to internalize things and make them personal when they're not necessarily personal. If you don't want to receive the message of Christ, that really has nothing to do with me as an individual, right? It doesn't have anything to do with Erica. If you don't want that message, that's just what you're saying. You don't want the message. Okay, I'm going to shake the dust off my feet and keep on moving. Why? Because you don't want the message. It's not about me. That's about between you and God. And so I'm just a deliverer of it. I just deliver it. And if you don't want it, then you can say return to sender. It goes back and, and we, and I keep moving. Um, but when we start to become more in, concerned about delivering it and people receiving us and respecting us and appreciating us, it gives us questions about what the intention of the message was in the beginning. Are you just wanting to be heard? Are you feeling like somebody is missing what you have to say or they're not understanding and valuing you? Are you trying to defend yourself? Because if you're trying to defend yourself, if it's about you, if this is, if you're just trying to be the sage on the stage, right? If you just want to be seen or heard, then essentially you've missed the entire process point. Um, people tell me that when I started this devotional, they're like, oh, make sure that you look a certain way or that you say certain things or that you do certain things. And I'm like, listen, it's not about all that. I mean, I'll look as presentable as I should look when I'm talking to people, but it's not about all that. If you don't want the message that I'm delivering, and it doesn't matter what package it comes in at this point, you just don't want it. And that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Why? Because I take this scripture literally. I'll just take the, shake the dust off my feet and move on. It's not a personal issue because this is not mine to be giving. I am delivering a message of truth from the scriptures about God, about his character. This is not about Erica. So when I do it, I do it with this humility of understanding that if nobody ever receives it, it's all good. I did what I was asked to do. Um, and the truth is, it's not going to be a case where nobody ever receives it if you do it with sincerity and humility. But if you do it in your own mind and you do it in your own right, then it'll be difficult for you to do what Jesus is saying in this passage. If they don't receive you, if they don't want the message, just shake the dust off your feet and move on. So I hope that encourages you today. I know it was a brief devotional, but brief and to the point. Jesus was very direct in this message. He's like, listen, but everybody's not going to want it. Okay. <laughs> everybody's not going to want it. Everybody's not going to receive it. If they don't, shake the dust off your feet. Keep it moving. Don't be offended. It's nothing to be offended about. It's time to go. So for you. I hope that if you find a place where you're not received, that you can find the humility to say, okay, this is not personal. I'm moving on. I'm going to shake the dust off my feet and I'm going to go to the next place. Um, and if you struggle with that, then there, that's a place to pray. Maybe read this passage and read the works of the disciples and see what happens to them as they approach different places. They don't, they're not always well received. Jesus wasn't always well received. So I can't imagine that we would be right. So that message hopefully goes deep and helps you to find rest in every place of unrest that you've, that you've had regarding giving a truth or delivering a message. That's not your burden to make them receive it. You're not the Holy Spirit. You're just a person. You're delivering a word. That's great. But if you have to be forceful, it's probably not your word to deliver. Probably need to just give it yourself some rest. Let it come back to you in time. People will receive love. Jesus said, I mean, God said, with loving kindness, I have drawn you in. Uh, it's a scripture, right? Bringing, bringing you in with loving kindness, not with brutality and argumentation. Nonetheless, uh, I pray that this devotional has blessed you. I want to ask you to please pray for us. Um, and we'll be praying for you. Launching Lexus will be praying for you. But we need your prayers. And so we covet them. So we'll ask for them. Please pray for us. And we'll be praying for you. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning for another devotional. Until then, be blessed.